Hello, my name is Aurora Monterosian and I shall be demonstrating Workflow it to you shortly. Uh, and for this demonstration, I will be using a purchase ledger invoice and how that may be routed along your organization and then uh, be accessed through Sage. The system is designed so that you get away from having lots of papers and files and use scanned soft copies of documents uh, within your organization. Uh, obviously finding these documents is key and we have the concept of user-defined indexes which will then allow you to get to the data very quickly. Uh, as data is the heart of the company, uh, the system has been set up so that you can access any of your data from any browser from within the organization or from externally from outside the organization using either a virtual private network or a hosted scenario. So what Workflow aims to do is to move away from paper in filing cabinets to searchable data that's accessible from any time at anywhere. Workflow is part of our Capture It set of modules and that covers everything from designing forms to deploying them simultaneously via paper, tablet or via the internet. Uh, the data can then be captured either via a scanner, any other database or using the web server uh, and is consolidated before being then used in Workflowit uh, to allow the data to be passed uh, securely and in a controlled fashion into Sage uh, as well as additional reporting um, that can be taken out on that particular data. So it has many, many uses. So, for example, on the sales ledger side, it could be used to just um, keep details of uh, credit control, i.e. chasing. Uh, it could be used to retrieve uh, copies of invoices quickly. And on the purchase ledger side, it could be used as a purchase ledger invoice register, uh, which can then be used to workflow that particular invoice around the organization. Again, invoices can be retrieved quickly, and it could also be used for a payment authorization system where, for example, a purchase order processing system is being held outside of Sage. There are other add-on modules for the application, including expense claims, timesheets, contracts, related documents, in fact, any other document in your organization that needs to be um, routed or may be wanted to be routed. It has many, many benefits. Obviously, the key one here is that it works seamlessly with all the different flavors of Sage. It has excellent reporting facilities as it's based around a SQL Server database. And uh, from a practical perspective, it frees up lots of uh, office space and scarce resources. Uh, searching for documents is very, very intuitive and quick, as you shall see shortly in the demonstration. And it uses a browser, so it's very efficient for multi-office organizations. Also, as business processes are uh, defined, the documents can be tracked uh, and uh, uh, and moved along the business process from user to user, and scanned documents are routed uh, rather than paper copies, so it's a lot more efficient. Uh, there is an optional hosted site to do out of office access to the uh, data, and that can be done from anything from an iPhone to a netbook. And the implementation is very very quick, typically less between one and two days. Uh, it has other major benefits as well that it integrates very uh, easily with uh, things like Excel and Microsoft SharePoint services, uh, as well as um, through the Sage application. So how does it work? The system is based around indexes. So in this particular example, I have an invoice and I've decided that I'll be able to search on it on the invoice number, the invoice date or the code. But other methods are available. So in this particular case, I have an invoice here which has been processed into the system and it could be just as simple as having a sticky back label with the word index 101, 102, 103 on it. And what the system can then do is scan that top right hand corner and then use that as a a uh, unique identifier for that particular image from within Sage. Uh, all the reports can uh, be accessed using a browser and from within those reports you can also use it to launch particular documents. So in this particular case I've got a sales invoice report and I can use the launch buttons on the bottom right hand corner to view either the TIFF variant of that invoice or the PDF variant of it so that it then basically pops up from wherever you are and you can then see the invoice as you would do back in the office. The data can then be also exported using reporting services in different flavors. So it can be anything from a PDF to an Excel spreadsheet to a P uh, Adobe Acrobat format. The links within Sage are also very easy. So in this particular example, I have Sage 500 version 6 on the left-hand side, where Red IT Workflow is a standard menu option uh, on the application. And by just clicking on it, uh, the Workflow it search your application then starts on the right-hand side in a browser. 
and we shall have a look at that in a second. So let's go and have a quick look at the document. The so here we are. So this is uh, an example of a transaction uh, looking at an invoice that's been posted in a uh, supplier's account called QUD01. And as you can see, the second reference there is 104, and uh, it's an invoice that's been posted. So what I can do here is just uh, basically uh, look at that particular data from within Sage, or uh, I can then have this extra menu option here, which I can then double click on, which then opens up the browser. And that basically shows me uh, the uh, workflow application, and it's split into tabs at the top with the home area. An upload area which then brings in the scanned images and then by uploading the records you then uh, allow that sys the system to use those images. So in the workflow it tab that's where most of the work gets done so in this particular case I have the ability to uh, pick up any particular company or pick up any particular supplier or pick up any particular invoice that I may be interested in and I can then basically do anything that I wish with it. So for example what I may decide to do is take this particular invoice number three and I can either then process it, reject it, query it, or workflow it. So by workflowing it, I can then just click onto the workflow button, which then makes this visible. And I can then just say, please check coding, and then route that to another colleague of mine. So that could go to Colin, for instance. And that then is in his inbox. So what he can do is he can then log in, uh, look at that particular document, uh, click on it and say, oh, okay, yeah, so let me have a quick look at that image. So he can then click onto the view button, which then goes and just opens up the image, and then he can then take appropriate action. Having done that, he can either then pass it on to somebody else, or he can uh, workflow it, uh, or reject it, or process it. And that, uh, the um, Sync It tab then links that within Sage, and uh, the options that are available to you here are that it can also operate across multiple sage companies and uh, the only thing you need to worry about is a list of users who you may wish to use for the workflow application having done that then the system can then allow you to the application that i'm after or a particular invoice that i was after so in this particular case i may want to have a look at uh, i don't know all the uh, bt invoice or i may wish to have a look at uh, a particular uh, invoice in, in question so I can go and have a look at uh, I don't know number 201 and that'll go and bring that immediately for me to, to have a look at or I can just have a look at the different statuses and the statuses can be either processed queried or workflowed and uh, over here all of these particular screens have got hyperlinks on the so I can easily find everything that's been queried or everything that's been workflowed common uh, and um, uh, in a similar manner, I can find everything that has been allocated to a particular user uh, or for a particular supplier, which makes finding things very, very easy. There's a full history within the application so that I can immediately see what has happened to a particular transaction. So uh, I can have a look at uh, a particular invoice. Uh, so invoice number 1008, for instance, has gone through various different inboxes and various different processes before it ended up in Sage. Uh, and that is a good audit report that uh, can be used uh, for uh, any purpose. Uh, there is help to um, show you what needs to be done and what the buttons and the different processes are there to do and uh, it is actually completely user definable so uh, if there are additional requirements uh, that you may have then uh, we would look forward to uh, speaking to you about them. Well I hope you found that uh, demonstration in um, I'm Marty Rosian and uh, please feel free to contact me on r at red-it.co.uk or on my uh, number 07808 318813, where I'll be more than happy to answer any queries you might have. Thank you very much for your time and attention.